Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature or a way that the Microsoft SharePoint uh, shows a document library. Uh, in the past, each channel had was a folder actually in a shared document library, but uh, it was really hard to understand what is a, a regular folder or or share or or a folder that was a channel. So currently I have a, a team site which is called Demo 1960 and I have a general channel, a private channel and a share channel. Um, if I go to file, you'll see uh, I can upload in a general. Also in a, a private channel, I will have also a file tab. In the background, uh, we see here the logo, it creates a separate uh, site with the document library the same thing is for the shared channel which is a new thing uh, so let's see how how it is uh, now so I'll go to the file I'll click on the three dots and do open in SharePoint now uh, it looks the same but if I go back to see the document library I have um, how um, Actually, it separates between folders that are part of the library and folders that are part of the channel. Now, the st strange thing is, uh, you see general appears in both places. But the nice thing is that actually, even though the private channel is on a separate site collection and a document library, we still here have access to it. If I go to it, <coughs> I can get to it. You see now, I see uh, that actually it's uh, the private channel, private site collection. And if I want to go back, I can click the parent uh, teams. Uh, the same thing is for the shared shared channel. If we go there, um, uh, so we will see that we can access it even though it's a, a separate uh, site. Uh, let's see what happens if I create a folder here. So this is a folder that is is only in the library. It's not a <coughs> a channel library, and we see it was added here. Still, I I still don't understand why it's adding in the site library uh, this general one. Uh, let me see if I can delete it. No, you see I cannot delete uh, channel uh, folders. Let's see what I can do. So I'll try to delete this one. Here I can only preview also here. <clears throat> On the other hand, also here, here I cannot delete, but for this folder, which it was created uh, by myself, I can delete it. Here we do. And so let's just uh, do another experiment. Let's create a new channel and let's call it uh, channel A and let's just make it a standard. So we see it's uh, it's added here. We can go to the file. Let's upload the file. File tab. And uh, let's upload the document. Here we are. And uh, let's see how it uh, shows it in the document library from the SharePoint side. So here it looks the same because it's directly in the folder. I see the channel A is <coughs> is now here. It, it adds it also in the site libraries and also in the, the areas that are part of the channel. This, this looks like a bug. <coughs> now, what I wanted to test also is <coughs> what happens I wanted to know if to, if it's to do with this view, if it's something that I can change. So what I did was I said let's filter by let's say a uh, by a uh, modified by. Oh, so I just went here and filtered by modified army, and you see actually it did a filter, but it did the filter only on. Uh, on the second part. The first part was not uh, changed 
and we see here actually the criteria. So even if I save this uh, view as a, let's just call it AMI. So I have a new view called AMI. So even if I change the view or do anything, this top part will remain all the time and it has no meta metadata or something like that. So I guess it's something uh, you cannot change. Um, so it makes a bit of, uh, um, you know, some, you can identify what's relevant for, for the things you create. Uh, they have nothing to do with the teams and these are the channels that also cannot be changed and it, it sets some uh, organization. So this is what I wanted to show you um, and have a good day. Bye-bye.